In this module, we shall introduce disjoint cycles. Two permutations are disjoint if the sets of elements moved by the permutations are disjoint. Here we are considering an example symmetries of a square which is denoted by D4 as we have seen that D4 is the subgroup of symmetric group S4. The identity element rho naught uh, which is given by 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2, 3 goes to 3, 4 goes to 4. And we, uh, we can write the identity element as a product of transpositions 1, 2, 1, 2. Uh, if you want to see, then we can multiply from uh, 1, 2 uh, with 1, 2 from right to left. You can see that we shall get the permutation alpha naught. You can see that in these uh, in the second permutation, one goes to two, two goes to one, and three is fixed, and four is also fixed. And in the uh, first permutation, one goes to two, two goes to one, and three and four are fixed. And we have to multiply from right to left, and uh, you can see that one goes to two and 2 goes to 1. In this manner, 1 goes to 1, we shall obtain. And uh, uh, then 2 goes to 1 in the uh, first permutation from the right, and uh, 1 goes to 2, so we shall obtain 2 goes to 2. And in the both permutations, 3 is fixed, so 3 goes to 3, and 4 is also fixed, 4 goes to 4. So you can see that uh, any uh, identity element, any identity permutation can be written as product of the transpositions 1, 2, 1, 2. If you have uh, n elements and uh, 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2 and so on, n goes to n, then we can write the identity permutation in the similar manner as 1, 2, into 1, 2 and you uh, can see that we shall get the same permutation rho naught in this case also. Now rho 1 is uh, the other element of the group D4 which is the symmetries of scale and uh, here we are considering first the rotations rho naught, rho 1, rho 2, rho 3 and uh, 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 1. And in this manner, we can get this cycle. And we can write this cycle as product of transpositions. Later, we, can, we shall prove that uh, every cycle can be written as product of transpositions. So, uh, as you know that, we apply the permutations from right to left. So, in last permutation should be 1, 2. We shall begin from the uh, last one. Uh, that is 1, 2. And then 1, 3. And then 1, 4. From right to left. And in the similar manner, we can... Uh, operate these permutations from right to left and you can see that uh, we shall get the cycle 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we have uh, three transpositions and we can say that this permutation is an odd permutation and in rho naught we have two uh, product of two transpositions and uh, two is an even number so we can say that rho naught is an even permutation. Now you can see that rho two, uh, rho two which is given as a image of one under action of rho two is three, 
and image of 2 under action of row 2 is 4 image of 3 under action of row 2 is 1 image of 4 under action of row 2 is 2 and uh, uh, we uh, now uh, act the permutation row 2 first time on 1 uh, the image of 1 would be 3 we shall get 3 and when we apply the permutation row 2 second times on 1 we shall get 3 goes to 1 so in this manner we shall get 1 goes to 3 when we act first time the permutation row 2 on 2 we shall get 4 and when we act second time the permutation row 2 on 2 we shall get 2 4 goes to 2 so in this manner we shall get 2 goes to 4 4 goes to 2 this transposition so you can see that uh, 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 when we write it in the form of product of cycles this is already cycles of length 2 and these are the already transpositions 1, 3 and 2, 4. Now we consider row 3. Uh, in row 3 you can see that 1 goes to 4, 4 goes to 3, 3 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1 and the cycle is completed and we can write 1, 4, 3, 2. And now we transform this cycle in the form of product of uh, transpositions. Uh, from right, we shall write first 1, 4, and then 1, 3, and then 1, 2. Because, uh, uh, as you know, that uh, the uh, action of permutations would be from right to left. And uh, if you uh, shall try at home the uh, uh, compute, try to compute the product of these transpositions, then you can see that you shall get 1, 4, 3, 2. And now we are taking mu1. Mu1 is an other element of D4. And uh, here we have 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1. So we shall get 1, 2. And 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 3, we shall get the transposition 3, 4. So it is already uh, written as the product of transpositions. Mu2 is given by 1 goes to 4, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 2, 4 goes to 1. And when we act mu2 on 1, at first time we shall get 1 goes to 4 and when we act again mu2 on 1 we shall get 4 goes to 1 so in this manner we shall get 1 4 transposition and when we act mu2 on 2 at first time we shall get 3 and at second time we shall get 3 goes to 2 so we shall get 2 goes to 3 this mu1 and mu2 are also even permutations. Delta 1 is given by 1 is fixed, 3 is fixed, 2 goes to 4, 4 goes to 2. So we have just one transposition, 2, 4. And delta 2. 1 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1, 2 and 4 are fixed, then we have just one uh, transposition, 1, 3. Here you can see that uh, we have some even permutations and we have uh, some odd permutations. And uh, here I would propose a question, uh, uh, can uh, we form a the set of all the even permutations as a group under uh, permutations the answer is yes uh, because you can see that identity element is in the group and uh, other axioms are also satisfied and uh, such group is called uh, alternating group and uh, uh, we shall discuss uh, the alternating group 
in the next modules.